Hi there, and welcome to the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge for August 2015. This is John Fowl, and we're back. So I ended uh, episode one uh, here in the plains. Uh, I had just tamed a donkey, and I will put a chest on him. Uh, donkeys are awesome, because when you put a chest on them, you get these extra inventory spots. Um, it's not as big as a, a regular chest, but um, hey, we all, we all have inventory issues at the beginning, especially um, before you set up a base. So 15 extra inventory spots with all this uh, dungeon loot is nice. So a little bit uh, more commentary here. Um, well, I take my donkey back to uh, the first area. Um, I'm doing this commentary post uh, recording. Uh, so I'm having still having some computer issues. Uh, I have been really busy at work and not had time to even deal with stuff, but um, I, so I haven't really figured out exactly, but I think that Fraps is incompatible or has a problem. The codec has a problem with Windows 10 or something. I don't know. I'm getting corrupt AVI files every time I try to record using Fraps. So um, I've recorded using the native kind of Xbox uh, thing they have in Windows 10, um, but it doesn't pick up, it doesn't let you do a voice narration over it, or at least I haven't figured out how to do it. So um, for at least this month or until I can figure all this stuff out, I've, I've recorded a bunch of issues of this and uh, uh, my base race this month um, without sound, and I'll do post uh, post episode commentary like this. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll be able to add some good thoughts. But uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, we're back to the main place. I just went over the my uh, staircase down to the first dungeon. Um, so across this river was is the spawn where all the uh, um, horses are, and I did a little fail jump there. This guy's not much of a jumper either. We'll have to be building bridges uh, if we're going to go back and forth across that river. So I came back here, and um, yeah, sure, cane's good. We got our leather, so we want to have a book later. So I figured uh, plant some of that, spread it out. Um, and I wanted to look around to try to find the right place to uh, build this ranch. Uh, there's certainly a lot of horses here. But, um, and great places to ride up and down these hills, but uh, didn't find a big enough open space here. So I think, yeah, we went over this hill, looked around, and voila, this valley uh, along the river here is beautiful natural place. <coughs> Excuse me there. Um, so I think we decided, I decided to set up shop here. And being the second day, uh, you know, I have my saddles so I can start getting horses, but um, it's time to start building. And bef one of the main issues in MHC, uh, we got some bread and wheat from the dungeon, so we're not starving, but uh, I do want to get a farm going as soon as possible. So I'm going to uh, go and do that. And the, one of the ni other nice things about this area is that there's lots of chickens around, so I've got tons of eggs here. And I did get both melon seeds and pumpkin seeds um, from the dungeon, so actually growing melons and eating them uh, as, you know, kind of sustainable food uh, is really quick and easy, so I'm going to do that. Um, but I wanted to get some wheat, a little wheat farm going uh, for nothing else than the ranch um, will, you know, benefit from having a wheat field just the way it looks long term, so... Uh, it's not even so much about um, about food as much as it is about just uh, some aesthetics. So I'm going to try to pick a good place, I think, to do that. Um, but the other thing we needed to do, um, since we just did a sprint for the dungeons, I don't really have any building materials, so I uh, made myself an iron axe here and went to work. I will say one of the things... I like to do in MHC is um, try to use upgrade, you know, I don't uh, try to save resources um, because we only have nine days or eight, you know, 
seven, eight, or nine days to do um, all the work and the challenge. Um, in general, um, I go straight for the you know iron or even diamond tools as soon as I can um, to save time. Um, you do a lot of tree chopping, digging, mining. Uh, so um, I am a big fan of you know I, I make the stone tools just to get the iron to get this get the iron tools um, to get the diamond tools as fast as possible although I don't think in this episode we're gonna be I, I haven't decided yet um, my strategy here but I, I'm pretty sure I, I I'm not even sure I will go down and mine for diamonds or even go uh, too much below the surface um, my ideas for the ranch are gonna be are going to be pretty wood based um, so I think most of the resources are here uh, I wish there was a pine forest closer, but I'm getting a ton of oak wood to start. It's the, the basics and, and what I'm going to make uh, the primary parts of the, the build out of. Um, if you've watched some of my other uh, like little house and things, I, get, I try to um, do fairly, I don't know, reasonable, but, but not small builds. Um, and I was looking at that area. There's a, there's a big space there. Um, uh, I uh, have a couple of ideas and a couple of different types of buildings that I want to put in. So um, to, and to fill up that whole space. Um, so I uh, will need lots of materials. And uh, now I'm just hunting around for saplings. I realize my inventory is completely full. Um, we'll go back get on our donkey. I think I didn't mean to get on him here. I just meant to open his uh, his chest, or I think I'm not sure if you have to be uh, on him to do that. Um, and I was thinking that what he would do would be carry all my farm materials for me, and you know, be our uh, pack mule that in the night when I I'd know where he was and I could get all my farming supplies, um, things like. Then I realized, oh, <laughs> uh, I realized that was probably a bad idea, and you'll see why in, in a few minutes. One of the big problems in, in early stages, especially with a guy like this, is they, as soon as you get off a horse, um, they they or a donkey, they just wander off. Um, so I I uh, need a way to contain to keep him in the area. So I think here I was searching, trying to figure out where I wanted to put the farm. Um, and I, I decided, I think straight ahead, kind of on this corner over here would be the best spot um, on the river. And kind of this will be the edge, you know, one of the edges of the ranch um, where backed behind me is spawn. So I wanted to lay it out in a way that. Uh, you know, made it uh, kind of on the edge, a uh, place where we wouldn't ride our horses over the crops and stuff, but um, it would be nice scenery up against the edge of the river. Uh, we'll probably have to build some sort of a bridge over this river because the one thing that horses are terrible at um, uh, is, well, they, they will, they'll kick, they kick you off when, they, when you swim, so, um, and start making a little uh, workspace here. Uh, I, I, I tend to do this all the time, so uh, I, I always have a, a little, you know, the classic Minecraft workspace with the bench, a chest, and a furnace. Um, and you get all that iron cooking. And my goal here is to get a farm started. Uh, I think Farmer John needs to get to work. Um, it, the daylight is going. I, looking back on this now, realizing how much time I was wasting uh, of good daylight time. <laughs> get the farm going but do like to organize a little bit and make sure you know what you have um, I'm still at that point in the challenge where I'm uh, trying to decide what to do and uh, make plans so to figure out the number of resources I have so I kind of decided this was the spot I'm not going for a super efficient farm um, Batty and uh, Michael will be disappointed in me when <laughs> when they see what I did, and then I realize, oh, there's the donkey with all my farm supplies, and he has wandered away. Um, so I 
I better bring him back. Bring him back to my little base, and um, I think I decide here to make some half slaps. Don't know why, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, I do know why, but that will come later. Um, working on that. Where'd the donkey go? I think I get frustrated with the donkey here and um, it is time to make some armor because um, it is dark out and the one thing I didn't do in episode one since I just sprinted for um, sprinted for the hills uh, was make any armor and now that if I'm gonna try to work outside which I'm gonna work outside and build this farm here at night since I wasted all that time I need some armor to be safe uh, MHC always is one creeper blast away from death until you're ironed up, and even then, you know, the creepers, they, that's not my donkey, um, <laughs> the creepers uh, sneak up on you and hit you the wrong way, that you can die just by one hit um, with just iron armor on, so uh, I don't want to die this month, and I can see a skeleton's already spawned, um, so I think I dig a hole for the, <laughs> after he's run away twice. Um, this is actually more effective with horses, uh, especially horses that jump well. I, I like digging a 3x3 three three pit, and then what you can do is um, is actually just dig out the top block in the middle right here, and you can get out, and the, but the horse won't. Um, the horse is too wide. Um, but then if you get on the horse, um, it'll jump two blocks, so um, you can jump out of that. And it's a really fast way to keep a horse in one place and keep it safe. Um, really simple, simple design. <laughs> um, just dig that too deep pit so it's, you know, dig 18 dirt blocks and you've got yourself a, a horse stable. Um, yeah, so I wasted too much time getting this farm ready and now all the zombies are here. There's a... Pie, there's a uh, armored up one in the in the water over there. And even though I'm not gonna plant all the crops and I'm not going even and I'm not going for the most efficient farm, I do want to just till all the land so stuff grows quickly. Um, so I know I want to plant uh, wheat and pumpkins and melons. Uh, the other thing I do want to get before the end of this challenge and I might or end up back on the, uh, yeah, I need to go in and get my farming supplies here. Um, I might need to go back to that zombie dungeon to get is uh, carrots to grow because uh, you need golden carrots to uh, breed horses. So I'm thinking here about how to light this up and as I said, you know, I'm not starving or anything. I'm not too worried. So just a couple lights at either end will be fine. The middle stuff won't grow. Probably it might not be have the sufficient light right in the middle to grow really fast. But this guy is going to get out of the water. So it is time to whack him back into the water. And time to put a torch down. The torch position was awful. Um, <laughs> looking at it now is hilarious. I'm like, what, am I, what was I doing? Um, I wanted to put uh, water here uh, so it would irrigate uh, the side of the farm because I think basically the block that, I, that right there where that had gotten trampled was more than four blocks away diagonally from the water. Um, Oh yeah, baby zombies, and that's one, and then, uh, yeah, best thing to do after you kill a baby zombie is go into your inventory, because the other one is always coming to get you. Uh, I don't know that they always come in pairs, but it certainly seems like it. There's something about the way that they spawn. And, um, 
Yeah, so that's one thing I always recommend if you're interested in uh, melons or pumpkins. Bone mealing um, the plants is important because they the plants produce fruit pretty quickly, but they take forever to grow to a point where they can produce fruit. So um, getting them to mature the mature plants is uh, you know critical uh, if you want you know to do things quick if you want things to come out quickly and uh, I'm starting to get hungry so I wanted uh, to get my pumpkins out and have a little pumpkin pie but it's nighttime and uh, we need to clear the ranch of bad guys here a little bit um, of course the worst thing ever is that skeleton in the water over there um, hate skeletons in the water and I think I just wanted to be proactive with a couple of these zombies because I was about to uh, try to grow this. And uh, we're going to get a creeper visit here. A uh, zombie visit. This is the problem with trying to do uh, MHC at night. Um, <laughs> you, you're trying to be productive and uh, you get visits from all these lovely uh, friends, but they uh, they really slow you down light up the area here a little bit more and uh, it's not the most attractive farm at this point but uh, it's functional and I should have um, pumpkins by the morning and this is where I realize I think that I can't get out of here and uh, he was that guy was damaged by the creeper blast but um, take my donkey for a little ride back over to spawn and uh, I wanted to check out the area a little bit um, we have horses over here oh I, and I wanted to get um, this is what I, I was coming back over here primarily to get the sugar cane uh, so I could plant the sugar cane back um, on my base so on day one I did get um, one ender pearl um, which was awesome, and uh, I think I'll go for a second one here. Endermen are fairly, actually, fairly easy to deal with if you, you know, if you do what, if you, as you saw there, you aim at their feet, um, back up a little bit as you're hitting them, let them come to you. Um, a lot like wither skeletons, they're extremely dangerous if they hit you, but um, if you can keep them from hitting you, uh, they're pretty straightforward uh, mobs to deal with actually and uh, if you hit them in the feet they won't teleport that's the key uh, so keep your head down hit them right in the feet and uh, you should be good to go so day one I I don't know what it was I guess because it was day one as Michael says no one dies on day one I, I took one on without armor which was maybe a little foolish but that basically uh, ends the episode here. I uh, just want to plant my sugar cane. Um, uh, you know, the sun comes up. And uh, so we, on, you know, day two, we've gotten um, a lot of supplies. We've got a couple stacks of wood. And as you can see, I've got a pumpkin um, in the pumpkin patch already. Um, got wheat farm, got melons growing. Um, and it's time to start building, really. So in day three, I hope to uh, get started on uh, one of my first building projects. The first one is going to be, I think, extremely simple. Um, and uh, we also need to start getting a uh, herd of horses. Um, so, you know, any ranch, we, uh, it's nice having the wild horses around, but it would be nice to have a few that... Uh, that you know work with us and uh, I, we have three saddles um, so we should be able to uh, uh, you know spread those around we have plenty of horse armor as well so next time I think that's what we'll be doing I wanted to make sure I remembered to do a book and um, we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye now